Okay, so we're going to talk about uh, logic errors when you run Java applications. So to do that, I'm going to show you a quick program I made to reference a logic error. I'm going to run two different logic errors. So I'm going to save this program, and then I'm going to compile it. So you can, I'm going to go ahead and use that, Java C dot first, and then we're going to hit Java first. And you can see that 3 plus 3 does not equal 9. Now if you look at my program, you can see that I use this multiplier instead of addition. So I'm going to go ahead and save it now. And you'll see that I, I actually will fix that logic error. Right now, ooh, I, didn't, I must not have saved it. Hold on. Control S. Alright, let's see if I do this right. Alright, Java, compile first. Now, now it works. But we'll show you another logic error that, that is interesting. It has to do with order of operations. And we'll explain this later in the semester. But I'm going to control S this program again. I'm going to compile it. And then you will see that it doesn't work at all because it, it sees this, this is a string. And so we don't do order of operations correctly. It concatenates at the end instead of adding. We'll explain that later in the year why this looks like 33 on the string. But just be aware that we can fix these logic errors and then recompile our program. I'm going to go ahead and save this again. I'm going to go ahead and come down here and run this program. You know, and there it goes. Now it's fixed. So a couple of things we want to talk about. First, I want to reiterate, to run the application from the command line, we just type java-first. And that looks like that. And that runs the program in the command line. Also, it shows the application's output in the, in the command window. As you can see, that's, the output is right here. The class is stored in a file on the C drive. Let me show that to you. This is the file. First.java is what we coded. First.class is the bytecode that it converted it to on the compile side. Um, now, so when we run the application, if we had saved like it was before, it would have output first Java application. So uh, that's what this looks like. And I, I created a logic error and fixed it for you. We will spend more time on logic errors. And logic errors are where you spend a lot of time on. So we're going to stop the recording here.